Can we? Yeah, man. Me too. Let's see what we get, man. All right. Uh, let's see what we get. Seven minutes more. Yeah, the song is always good, man. Uh. Yeah, I'm on Windows 11. I'm on Windows 11. Uh, yeah, because uh, when I actually uh, put this PC together, because my PC died last year, right? The shops that I can get cheaper parts on, like, you know, good service, like the service I can trust on based on reviews and you know some 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 studies I I made and the price is reasonable. Yeah they, they don't sell um they don't assemble PC with Windows 10 anymore. They they fa they, they phase out uh a while ago. So I have no choice man. If I want to get um the PC assembled there, I need to get a Windows 11 instead. So yeah. So we're probably gonna get a few new decals. A new um, armor augment for sure. Maybe a new talisman augment as well. No Candy, I don't want to roll back because uh, I don't want to deal with all the the software and hardware stuff once it's set up man it's too much of a trouble it, it might create a lot of trouble so yeah I don't want to deal with it Yeah, me too. Like the armor curio, uh, talisman, like talisman, probably getting another new melding, maybe. Like a more powerful melding, <laughs> maybe. I'm not sure. So armor, talisman, uh, new deco, new monster, new monster set. It might be you know something they they might pull off a fatalist kind of stuff on this uh, final monster. <laughs> you got wrecked by Astalos? Yeah, Astalos takes some time, man. If you haven't fought it for a while, you go back. He's gonna be a little bit of a challenge for sure. Is it too loud for you guys? I hope not. I hope not. I hope it's not too loud, man. It's okay. All right. Special investigation. Estelo is just a pain. Yeah, I can see that. I can see. Oh, thank you, mentor, for the feedback on the audio. I can see that Estelo is always quite challenging, and the heat zones are not the best. So you know, a lot of time you're not gonna deal a lot of damage unless you're hitting. I think the tail and the head. I don't know about any heat zones left. Um, uh, like good ones. I can't remember. Maybe the arm, the tip of the arm. I mean the tip of the wing. Nah, nah, the wing sucks actually. I think the head is the one you, you hit, right? Oh, three more minutes. Ah, uh, this is gonna be fun. Dexter, welcome! Welcome back, man. How's your Wednesday? 
Astellus, yeah, maybe it's just a matchup. I had trouble with a lot of monsters previously, but there are certain monsters that I find that it's annoying to fight against. To me, it's Teoshra. I find Teoshra really, really nasty to fight against. But what, after a while, it's okay though. It takes some practice. So, I don't know what we're gonna get though. We'll see. Uh, Teostra almost. We're talking about Monsanto Rice. Uh, yeah. In Roll, Lunastra is tough though. Lunastra is definitely tough. Uh, Rajang, Furious Rajang. Those are the few that um, requires a lot of attention when we fight. But yeah, dude, this is a pro this is the last round table, right? I I think so. Probably. Oh man. It feels different, man, watching this. Yeah, the 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 monkey in Monster Hunter Rise is 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 counter heaven, man. <laughs> if you if you play a weapon with a lot of counter movement, like Rajang is just so fun to fight against, man. But it's very rough when you're fighting it on world. You have to be on really on point fighting it on world. Uh, let's start! Wait for a bathroom break? You're right on time, 10, ten seconds more. Are you guys ready? Galax, welcome! Right on time, right on time. Welcome, welcome. Oh. Dude, it feels so different, man. I started with streaming with this game, by the way. I started with Cow of the Lamb, and then I started with Sunbreak. Final digital event. Yeah, this is the final hey everyone, one. I'm Yozo Tsujimoto, producer on the Monster Hunter series. I'm Yoshitake Suzuki, the director on Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak. It's almost been one year since the release of Sunbreak on June 30th, 2022. A lot of players have decided to continue their adventures from Rise, and we are very thankful for that. Sunbreak has been getting several free updates since its release, but today... Welcome, Angelix, and everyone. Event. Thank you for joining the stream. So without further ado, let's have a look at the latest trailer. Let's go. Enjoy. Oh, this looks good. Something's off. Primordial Melzino. Oh, maybe it's still in control of itself. But this time, our true adversary. Yeah, it's gonna be so fast, man. Fighting this guy. It's gonna move so fast that I'm gonna cut so many times. <laughs> yeah, it's another it looks like black black dragon. <laughs> Oh, looks good. No, the ads. Bonus update version 16, available on June 8th, 2023, will add the final monster, Primordial Malzino. No. Originally, uh, I should have, I didn't realize I was on OBS on second stream. Final monster. Yes. But we decided to do a bonus update to introduce Primordial Malzino, Law? improve armor augmentation with new slots. Ah, oh, that new sucks! Into the mix. Slot? Really? Oh. 
For the currently available Title Update 5, the story centers around the villagers of Komura taking on Anamatsu. But in this bonus update, you'll get to witness the conclusion to the age-old relation between Malzino and the kingdom. You can take on Primordial Malzino from MR10. Okay. We hope you look forward to seeing its new moves and ecology. You'll be able to forge some cool weapons and low. <laughs> materials as well, so don't miss out. MR10. After the bonus update, there will be new event quests oh, until sure. July 27th, 2023. These event quests will be very tough and provide a solid challenge. You can earn a variety of rewards, such as layered armor. So we hope you try to complete as many the, as you the can. Buff, uh, the buff is done as already. As far as paid DLC goes, as of version 15, the total lineup is complete. Oh, no more paid DLC. Version 16 will introduce DLC packs with a variety of themes for an affordable price. Oh, they bundle up. We oh, hope you take this wow. opportunity to try some of it out. Wait, it's not done, right? Monster Hunter okay. Rise and Sunbreak <laughs> are also available on Xbox Series X, S, Yeah, the, Xbox the different color Windows, of my body, right? PlayStation 5 and PlayStation 4. At least MR100, <laughs> MR10 is very low. 14, 15, yeah. and 16, including Primordial Malzino, will release as a single title update as shown oh, on screen. Oh, wow, so it's coming for August, on August for other platforms. Devil Round Table, let's go! We are now joined by Yasunori Ichinose, Got a hot, director hot attack. of Monster When the logo show up, me too. Three -way conversation. Mr. Ichinose, everyone. <laughs> uh, I was gonna do my own introduction, but good to see you, everyone. I'm Yasunori Ichinose, director on Monster Hunter Rise. I think this is going to be the last digital event for Rise and Sunbreak, so there's a lot I'd like to talk about, and I hope everyone watching will enjoy our talk as well. Nowadays, it's easy for us to see reactions from players and the community in real time on social media and such. Has there been anything that caught your eye? When we did Rise and showed off canines for the first time, we got a lot of reactions saying how cute they were. Really? I and thought they were cool. The monsters are based on yokai. Some people wondered, what's this monster based on? And if they're going to bring back this monster, what yokai is it going to be based on? And so on. And I was surprised at how many people guessed it right. It was a lot of fun to watch. What about you, Mr. Suzuki? For Sunbreak, I decided to bring back a monster so he's the, the one who brought back <laughs> Espinas. <laughs> As I'm sure you're aware. <laughs> uh, he was the one. We got so much fan feedback <laughs> that the term even started trending for a while. Nobody saw that one coming. We pretty much had to recreate him from scratch. Oh, and did we? The staff was very particular about getting Yeah, and flaming Espinas which too. Was great. For Sunbreak, you even took Evo. the <laughs> yourself to comment on some things directly. What was that like? Did you have any plans? Well, I can't disclose any specifics about the main features in advance, of course. But I still wanted to reveal some things before each update to get the fans yeah. excited about new upcoming features. I wanted them to imagine what kinds of things we were cooking up. So, occasionally, I'd let some pretty big hints slip through. Of course, you have to be very careful. Like, how much can I say? Can I get away with this without getting yelled at? There were times when I was treading on thin ice, but I mainly focused on... Here, we're done, man. The new content is done. While There's no more new stuff. Trivia. Looks like it. We also released some illustrations hinting at new monsters on Twitter and stuff. Yeah, Flaming Espionage is alright. To me at least. Drew, right? 
No, that wasn't me. They were made by one of the designers for a color sample sheet. So I asked if I could have them, and I just put them up like Yeah, there's that. a lot of good old monster, man. I figured I'd be safe as long as I didn't say, this monster will be in the game. It was more to show off what kind of ideas... Yeah, does it bring gamer? Should have been white fatalist instead of mouse, you know, too. People comparing their speculations to the actual announcements. Misaki, welcome back. And then welcome back, man, gamer. Welcome, welcome, both of you. Mr. Ichinose actually provided What's new stuff? Uh, there's a slot up with ideas for the uh, Altman. So it was slot Altman, um, it alone. new monster, but some Mr. new event Ichinose quest. That's about it. For now. That's what they announced. A lot too. Not much though, you Misaki. Did a lot behind you didn't actually miss much. But welcome, man. Media. That's right. For some reason, my schedule just said recordings. <laughs> Nobody ever told me anything about what we were doing. Yeah, we wanted you to show up in some of our clips. So when we were making Sunbreak, I approached Mr. Suzuki with. They haven't mentioned about the new decos though. What the like, new decos hey, are? It would be great if you could add this character to Elgato. And there were some ridiculous requests in there. I was surprised at how many ideas he actually ended up using. Initially. We were just nah, I don't think so, man, Misaki. Canteen. But before we knew it, maybe we were at the quest counter and the yeah. This lab. this picture I just recently saw it. All over the place. Yeah. And they do Quite change cool. as you progress in the story. So I didn't realize the change. The game and have it noticed yet. You should try playing again and paying No, I'm not playing the, the game again. The, the grind game. is yep. too much, man. I see. There's a lot of variety. It's really cool. Both Rise and Sunbreak have very colorful NPCs. Do you have any particular favorites among the cast? I think I'd like to hear from Ryozo before we answer. Yes, me too. All right, I'll go first. I would pick Bahati from Sunbreak. He's pretty involved in the story. And I like how he looks like a brilliant scientist, but he's actually kind of goofy. And he's in a lot of cutscenes as well. That's right. He's actually one of the more prominent characters in cutscenes, yes. What about you two? I really like Tadori. Yeah, Tadori is cool, man. Very chill. You know who that is, Very right? cool. Of course, of course. These creatures consume life. <laughs> of course I know him. These creatures consume life. Why did you have to say that twice? <laughs> These creatures... consume life. <laughs> I really love that cutscene. I watched it so many times. It's a cutscene that seems so significant, right? Didn't we use this for a trailer? We did, we did. That's correct. It was an easy to use line. I... I really like Master Utsushi. Ah. Oh. The fact that he's a really prolific and experienced hunter, but he never brags about his own strength. He treats everyone completely equally. And you can tell he really loves and cares for his favorite pupils. We even received Valentine's chocolate for him. What? That's right. Quite a Valentine lot. chocolate? Surprised. A lot of fans sent in Valentine's chocolate for Master For an NPC that's not existing in so real world? They asked one of the designers to make a thank you illustration. Okay. So every time she would draw something super fast a couple of days in advance. This looks Every good though. Those look good. Up on social media. That's right. Moving on, considering that you've been working on these games for so long, there must have been a lot of ideas that ended up not making it. Oh, in. this must be good. Ones you can talk about? I'm not sure Crash I can ideas. Talk about any of them. No? Then anything you can oh, come just share on. a little bit of? So, Elgato Outpost has a leader called Admiral Gallius. Why is and everyone saying why Fatalist? He's <laughs> going to be a silent character. Wouldn't say a single word. But he's central to the plot development, right? So, he'd be standing right in the middle of the council meeting area, while Fiorain would be doing all the talking next to him. So, for instance, she'd say, we have to hunt this monster next. And she'd explain how to fight it, and then go, right, Admiral? And he'd just nod with a grunt. 
<laughs> and she'd go, understood, Admiral. Now let us sally forth, fierce flame. And this would keep happening, so it turned into kind of a skit. With Fiorain just looking for the right answers from someone who doesn't talk. <laughs> Which doesn't make a compelling <laughs> conversation, so we axed it. I guess I went a little the too far there. There's this guy inside Bahari's research lab, right? Yeah, 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 that's... The guy is always there. You could talk to him from atop the roof, and it would show his name. Oh. So Speaks before like, release. He has a name? Of course he was removed later, but I was impressed at how detailed it was. That he even had a name? Yeah. It should be gone now, though. He's a very thorough <laughs> bug checker. You can talk to him from up there? Hey, Suzuki! Why can I talk to this guy? Today's show is a special occasion to bring you new information about the bonus update, which is why we invited Mr. Ichinose and Mr. Suzuki over. And I'm glad we were able to share all of this with you. To close things off, no. the have a final comment for all of you. The prize us! Since Rise was released, we've been getting lots of fan feedback on social media and various other places. And we are very thankful for that. All of us here on the dev team will keep doing our best to deliver quality content to you. So we hope you keep enjoying the game for a long time to come. Thank you very much. I was handed the baton from Rise and got to work on Sunbreak, and I've been overwhelmed by all of the positive comments, which have given the dev team the motivation to keep working hard to bring you new content like all of the updates. I'd like to once again express the team's appreciation to all of you. Thank you. That about wraps things up for this event. It's you really? Since Monster Hunter Rise was Come released, on. And about one year since the release of Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak. Give her a small. Give her a small. We're all very thankful for the huge number of people who played these games. So, from all of us here on the development team, thank you very much. Next year will be the 20th anniversary of the yeah. Monster Hunter series. We're going to keep doing our best to bring you new and exciting oh, games. Oh, new and exciting so games. So you'll continue to support us in the future as well. New and exciting games. I'd like to close things off with our usual chance. Happy hunting. Happy hunting! Boss champ? <laughs> Is that how many coffees they sold? Oh, fear flame creator. Okay. Here comes the fame. Ooh, March twenty six. Okay. Top 3 Monster Hunter, let's see. Re <laughs> Raffian. <laughs> Nagakuga. Oh, of course, Magnamalo is the first one. <laughs> Poor Raffian, man. 62 million times. Oh, that's because high rank, right? Palamute. Oh, Palamute wins. Okay. 3.3 billion dango. You guys have been eating a lot of dango, man. A lot, a lot. Total wild bucks collected. 5.1 billion. Holy moly. Total times riding. What? 12.5. 12.1 billion.
Total BGM time playtime, Scarlet Feast. Wow. Yeah, this song is good, by the way. This song is very good. I like it a lot, too. Top 3 Monster Hunter in Sunbreak. <laughs> <laughs> Seeding basil. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. 250 million investigation. Wow, that's a lot. No, total pain. 1.4 billion. Wow. Hunter voice, oh. Street skill. 25.1 billion. Weapon stats, oh. Great sword, 6.8. Of course. Strong arm stance. Long sword, first, of course. Wyvern blade, Luna, sure. Sakura slash. Sword and shield, ooh. Sword and shield is up there, man. Gold blade, oh my lord. Lance 3%, no! Anchor rage, yep. Gun lance 3.2. Bullet barrage, of course. Devil's die, yep. Hunting horn. Oh, I didn't know. Yeah, Earth Shaker. Yep. Really? Crawling Crusher. Counterfeit performance. Yep. Light bow gun. Interesting. Standing maneuver. Yep. Reconquerers, yeah. Bow is 7.1% though. High P rim. Aerial aim. Oh. This is what being a royal knight I'm surprised though, Fury is up there. <laughs> Luchika. But Luchika fall off though. Of course. Of course, Hinoa is up there. Of course. 3.2 billion. That's good, man. Good number there. Bo is good, man. Bo is really good. Dude. 84.8 million lobbies. Sucks, man. The lobby can only fill four people. It would be so cool if you if you have more, right? Like eight. Good job. Yeah, the likes, right? Casualty grab before they invent the shock proof. You're weeping at the end of Icebone final digital, art, digital art event? Yeah, man. It feels very. It feels. Oh, man. Ah. Oh. It's, it's actually. Yeah. 
It's actually ended, man. Ah. Uh, you're a bit disappointed? Nexus, the last update, right? Title Update 5 is supposed to be the last update, man. Yeah, so this is like the extra stuff they pump out for the game. So if you want to, you know, think about the stuff you get for the game, uh, you should you should you should judge it based on title update five. Yeah. So there are a few things we don't know yet. We don't know about the armor skill, that, or if there's an armor set for this. Um, Primordial Malzino. So so we don't know about it. We don't know if we are ever actually getting an armor set, an armor set for it. And we got a new armor augment, but it's for slots, man. It's not for anything else, it's for slots. So you can improve the slots of the uh the armor, the armor pieces. There's no new melding. So we are done with melding talisman. That's the best we can get. And we didn't. We, we don't know if they will add in um, all the skills into the armor augment. Like um, frenzy bloodlust. Yeah, the skill from um, Ryzen Shagaru. Yeah, we don't know if it will be added into the armor augment system. Yeah, there's, there's a few stuff that we don't know yet. So we'll see though. Did they say when will the update arrive? Did they, did they mention when will the update arrive? I didn't catch it just now. Tomorrow update? Oh, okay. Gotcha, gotcha. That means, you know, I made the right choice of not uh, to just chill today and not hunt today. And we'll hunt tomorrow and check it out and see what we have, man. Oh boy, it's gonna be rough, right? Fighting the monster. <laughs>